and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. This is Julie, and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two-minute art tip. And today's little two-minute art tip comes from a viewer question um, where we had someone ask me, where do I get my inspiration from? Um, two things. Uh, and so we'll be covering this in two different videos. Um, one uh, is beauty. I mean, and that's, I mean, it seems like obvious, like you're going to paint beautiful things, you know, not everybody does, but most people do. I mean, if it's visually appealing, why not translate it into a piece of artwork? But I think I realized in just the past couple of years that the reason I was choosing subjects was a far different reason than I thought it was for a long, long time. Um, yeah, anybody likes beautiful things, but for um, a long time, I had a strange kind of upbringing about beauty. And, um, and you will see that there's a strong undercurrent in my work with beautiful people, like visually appealing people. Um, and I grew up in a household, and this is no, not a condemnation at all, and I'm not attributing to this any one person or anything like that, but where, where women were kind of viewed as um, the most important thing that you could be was beautiful. Um, and it didn't matter how talented or smart or clever or funny or kind that you were, that beautiful was first. And I always thought that that was weird. And I've also been very, very interested at the power that beauty has. People a lot of times assume that because someone is beautiful or good looking that they have all these other characteristics that they may or may not necessarily have. And so I've always been interested at the, the instantaneous visceral connection that people of all ages, you know, and all kinds of backgrounds have when they see a beautiful person or a beautiful image. And I'm fascinated by the fact that you can almost visually trick people with a piece of paper and some color into, into making it feel like it's a human being that they're interacting with, and it's not. And I've also been fascinated with the power that beauty conveys and how fleeting it is and how individual it is and, and all that kind of stuff. So you will see that like beauty is a very, very strong factor in, um, in my work. And we have several pieces here to show, um, show you and see exactly what I'm talking about. But beauty has been a long inspiration for me for many different psychological reasons. Um, so there's your honest answer, guys. Uh, that's that's the, the long and the short of it. So beauty, um, um, maybe it means something different to you, but that's definitely uh, one of the things it's meant to me. So enjoy. Enjoy.